Hey guys, it's Mrs. Welch here. I hope you are doing well. I know that several of you are thinking about what is going to happen after high school. And so I want to make sure you know about a really cool feature in Navient that will help you create a resume. You can use this if you're planning on going straight into the workforce, if you're going to be applying for a summer job, or maybe you're even going to be looking for employment while you're attending a two-year college or a four-year university. What's really great about the Navient's program is that it's going to prompt you to fill in each section. So we'll start by logging in. You'll go to www.cobk12.org. You'll then click on Parents and Navients. Your username is going to be your first name dot last name, and your password is going to be whatever you use to log into the computer at Alatuna. Once you're logged in, you should see a screen that looks like this that says Welcome with your name on the left-hand side. You'll come over to About Me my stuff, and then resume. We're gonna begin by hitting this pink plus sign. This is where you're gonna see all the different sections that could be included in your resume. If you don't have something to fill every single one of these, that is okay, but I do wanna encourage you to use as much information as possible when filling it out. What's great about Navient is that it's gonna give you tips for each section, so it's gonna explain what that section is and what should be included. By hitting more tips, you'll get a more detailed description, and a lot of times you'll even get examples of what you could include. So for my purposes today, I'm gonna to say my objective is to obtain a part-time position at a daycare. I'll hit add, and that section is now added to my resume. I'll come back up to the pink plus sign, and I'll keep going through and adding more. So I'm gonna to jump to education and say, okay, I attend Alatina High School, it's in Ackworth, Georgia. I'm a 12th grader and I started in August of 2016. I'm currently enrolled. Now remember, those tips are gonna give you some ideas of what should be included. So if I hit more tips, it says include things like your high school GPA or coursework related to your objective. So I may say my GPA is a 3.5. I may say that I'm enrolled in teaching as a profession course and hit add. You'll continue doing this for each section. Once you've completed your resume information, you'll come to print and export resume. And we're gonna come back to this pink plus sign and we're gonna name our resume. So for today, I'm gonna to call this Welch 2020. You can preview the different templates that are available through Navient's. So you find the one you like. So I'll say, okay, I really like template two. Now I'll hit continue. I'm then gonna select um, each section that I want included when I print my resume. So I may not always include the objective or my education. I'm just gonna include information that is pertinent to the position I'm applying for. So let's say I'm applying at a daycare that I'm gonna include the objective. But if I'm applying for a lifeguard position, I may not include that objective. So once I've selected each section that I want to be added in, I'll hit Save Resume. At that point, I can download it as a PDF. I can either print it and take it with me to my interview, or I can save it to my computer and email it or edit it within Word. And you can come back into Navient at any time to edit your resume or to add and update sections as needed. And you can create different resumes for different positions based on whatever you need. If you have any questions about how to use Navient to create a resume, please don't hesitate to reach out to your counselor. Our email is, included, is listed on the Alatuna website, and we would love to hear from you guys. We hope to see you soon.